right, good morning, you guys. It is 10.30 and I am going to get dinner in the crock pot. So today I'm gonna make this recipe, Donna's green chili stew. It's in the gooseberry patch slow cooking all year round cookbook. Super simple ingredients. I have a can of diced green chilies, a can of white hominy, three potatoes, two carrots, an onion, some garlic, whatever kind of green enchilada sauce is your favorite. This isn't in the recipe, but I'm gonna add it, which is green tomatoes with green chilies. And then you're gonna need a two pound pork roast. The other ingredients I'm adding that aren't in the recipe is on my meat before I brown it, I'm gonna put on some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and cumin. So I'm gonna take a few minutes, get some of these items chopped up, and then I'll show you guys how I assemble it in the crock pot. I got all of my ingredients prepped and I'm ready to put it in the crock pot. The first step is adding this cubed browned pork to the bottom. Then I browned up one onion. I'm gonna add that in. You're going to add in your peeled and cubed potatoes. Next, you're gonna add your two thinly sliced uh, carrots. I almost called them cucumbers. You're gonna add in your can of diced green chilies, your can of white hominy. You're gonna make sure that it's drained. Your whole can of green enchilada sauce. And then this wasn't in the ingredients list, but I'm also gonna add one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. All right, we're gonna stir this up. All right, once all of your ingredients are mixed up, you're gonna turn your crock pot on low for eight hours. All right, good morning guys. I know I kind of already did an introduction for this video today, but I also realized that I did not say what day it is. So today is Monday, it's now 12.38. So it's been a couple hours since I checked in. The crock pot meal has been going for two hours and it already smells super good. I already turned off like all the scentsies and my candles because the smell of the crock pot was just so stinking good. So I hope it's a good dinner. Um, we've never tried it before. Um, but what we've been doing the last couple hours, we finished up school. I did a little bit of laundry. I got dressed and ready for the day. What's left on my to-do list is this. We have about three hours until we need to leave for class. So I wanna get all of the laundry done. I need to redo Oakley's hair. I'm just gonna rebraid it. Um, I need to get the kids' nails ready, so wash their fingernails and toenails and get them trimmed really short. I need to um, lint roll their geese, and I just wanna like get the house picked up. So I need to do the surfaces. Like I need to sweep and vacuum and mop. I need to clean off the countertops, and I also need to deep clean my bathroom. So. I'm gonna take like the next couple hours and just try to bust out as much as I can before we have to leave for class.
holidays, I don't share the kids' lunches very often, um, but this is a pretty normal lunch for the kids. Um, this is for them to both share. We have a sliced pear, some summer sausage, cheese, triscuits, and then chocolate hummus with carrots. The kids are working on some birthday cards for Michael. Tomorrow is his birthday. So I just wanted to make sure that they had those done today so that they can give them to him in the morning. Um, but we actually have to leave a little bit early for jujitsu because I realized we have like no rabbit food and we're almost out of chicken food. So I'm going to swing by Wilco. I tried to place an online order so I could just pick it up but it wasn't working. So I don't have to go inside the store, which is kind of irritating, but we're going to go a little early. We're going to do that. I need to return some library books and then we're going to go to class. I just checked on dinner. I'm a little worried. The carrots are still really, really crunchy, but it still has like three and a half hours to cook on high. So hopefully it's done when we get home. Also, I just wanted to mention that I had a first happen today. I got my first mean comment on YouTube, which honestly, now that I think about it, I'm surprised it hasn't happened before. Um, the person, their comment had to do with something about the way that I, I said something. I guess I said it the wrong way and my English is very poor. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I just blocked the person just because this is a hobby for me and nobody wants to see that. I mean, it didn't really hurt my feelings, but I still don't want to see negative comments. So, um, I just blocked that person. I kind of feel like they're obviously not in a good place if they're wasting their time watching my videos just to comment mean, rude things. So, um, yeah, I did leave the comment up because I just kind of want it to be a reminder of like how not to act. I just don't think it's really appropriate. And I feel like most of the people that watch my videos are probably adults and that's just not really kind behavior from an adult. So I left the comment up. Um, it'll just be like a reminder, I guess, of how not to act. Um, but yeah, that was a first for me, my first mean comment, which I've almost been YouTubing for, I think, nine months. So like I said, I'm honestly surprised it hasn't happened yet. But Anyways, Oakley is finishing up her card, Barrett is finishing up his card, and then we're going to load up and head to town. Mm -hmm. And then from the bottom, go up. Good job. And then an E. It's seven o'clock and we just got home and it smells amazing. I did check some of the carrots, like this bigger one, are still a little hard, but the meat is nice and tender. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's kind of hard one-handed. But yeah, it's just like falling apart. So I'm going to, I'll make sure that I don't dip these big carrots at all, but I'm going to get the kids a, a bowl cooling down and I'm going to warm up some tortillas. All right, guys, we just finished with dinner. It was super good. The only thing that I would change, and I actually like wrote this down on a sticky note and put it on the, uh, what is that called? The cookbook like recipe page. 
was I would not put potato in it and I would not put carrot in there. I don't really get the whole point of it, especially since it already has hominy and you dip corn tortillas in it. So next time I'll just make it without the potato and the carrots. It reminded me a lot of like a pozole, but just like a easier version, less time consuming. Um, super good. Everybody ate two bowls. Well, except Barrett. He, he hardly ever eats seconds. So um, it was definitely a keeper. But yes, the kids and Michael are outside cleaning his truck right now. I'm going to pick up from dinner and then we're going to get ready for bed. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for tagging along today and we'll see you on the next one.